Anyways, 11.07 would be a pretty good time. Yeah, because now I was 25 minutes late. I still am disappointed they didn't keep the uh, little uh, clown cars when they bought this place. And I'd like to just take a couple of laps in one of the clown cars every time I'm here. Bring on the clowns. I'm going to park up here, but I don't have to go up and down the steps. membership database does is it automatically sets up an auto renewal invoice in your member record for next year. Alright. Thank you. Bye bye. Well, here we are. Hi. Hi. How Everybody. You Hi. Yeah. How the heck are you? Yeah. How you doing Mr. Gerald? I'm doing pretty good. How you doing? I'm not too shabby. Not too shabby. You want to write me up a receipt? So I'm going to do a little video tour here to show the grotto that this place actually exists. We are here. We exist. We're real people. And what do you do here? Uh, membership and bookstore. And if you order something, it has my hands on it. So I'm, I'm here at the NSS office, uh, February 2nd, I believe, 2002. And uh, Larry Matthews came down to pick up some boxes of his latest book. And Gerald Money rode down with us. It's about an hour and a half from Nashville, and so I thought I'd give you guys a quick tour of the office. Paul's cave. I didn't fit. <laughs> Where was that at? In Alabama, 220-foot wet pit. About seven inches high to get to it. Paul's pit connects to Savory Well. I did get to the bottom of it. A complex multi drop with a big borehole passage at the bottom. Now we're heading down the hall to the library, which is really impressive. So it's not unusual for us to see Bill's car somewhere down below at around lunchtime, but he's usually not in here until right at five o'clock and then he'll stay until whenever. Pending. Obviously, he has a key to the building then, and all. Yeah, that. yeah, he's got he's got whatever keys he needs. So, yeah. um, everything on this side is the archives, libraries all over here. We've got when they moved Dick Blend's files down here, they were put along the back wall. Um, this way, we've got all of the Rado newsletters. Oh, okay. Rolling bookshelves, which are really, really nice. 
when we were at Cave Avenue, there were just stacks and stacks and stacks yeah. of stuff that we couldn't do anything with. Yeah. We'd run out of places to put them. Mm -hmm. So now there's room for the Grotto newsletters. This is where the Grotto newsletters go when they're sent to us. These are the shelves. United States. We do have a section for international newsletters because we do get trade copies from around the world. Is Alabama in the United States? Um, that's the rumor. <laughs> that's appropriate. What are all these over here? Um, these are files that Bill has kept on different people, different members of the society through the years. If, uh, I, I'll bet Gerald's got a file. And they're in alphabetical order. Well, let's, I would be down here then. Let's see. We're looking for Moni. M-O-N-I. No, have, Gerald, you don't have a file. Doggone it. I, I don't need know a, I, need to talk, I need to talk to Bill about that. Yeah, you do. Hey, we got time. We'll just fill one out at lunch. Let's see. You know, Gordon Smith has quite a collection of uh, books and newsletters up at his museum in, mm -hmm. at Diamond Gardens. Yeah. yeah. But if he runs across something that... There's a file on Albert Ogden. There's all kinds of people in here for various... Do you have an Ed Yarborough file? I'll bet he does. Got a built a road file. Amazing how Bill is about the only person that does anything in this library. No, yeah. no. Mm. Mm -mm. All right. Don't see an Ed Yarborough. Nope. No it's Ed Yarborough. So much work to know him way to do it. I know there's a Halliday file though. Tom Barr stuff. I got all his oh, wow. caving gear and stuff and his wife handed me for preservation. Anyway, so long as you have a display case here, we, mm -hmm. if you'll allow the Dash Grotto to put together a display for it. Yep. Bill Halliday. Ah. We have William Halliday here. Another William Halliday here. So we've got two for Bill Halliday. And these are, this is written. 1958. There's a letter from 1958. Boy, there's a big one here for Tom Barr. Really? Yeah. Well, let's look at that. Look at this. That's the, the biggest folder I see on the whole shelf. Tom well, Barr. Well, Halliday's got two folders that add up to about that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. I'll show you something else that's fun. Yeah. We've got... Well, see what's pathetic. Look, look at this little bitty folder here. For oh, that you? Matthews. Yeah. Just a little tiny folder. Well, <laughs> Hey, but at I've least you rated one. I've been discriminating. You rated a folder. <laughs> hey, does Ed have a folder? No. No, Ed doesn't uh, have a folder. But Larry does. Gerald. So originally, when you joined the NSS, you were put on three by five index card. These are the original three by five index cards. So, like Larry Matthews, six seven nine two. I got a Lawrence Matthews, but don't have Larry. Six, seven, nine, two. Yeah, I bet his middle initial is Check. D, isn't it? I think they, they continued with the cards through 1996. That's when uh -huh. NSS Tracks started. John. Gerald. Two more Johns. Did you ever read Aku Aku? Jeannie. No Jody. Did it. Yeah, I thought it. I uh -oh. What do we have here? You know, and, and so in here, history, I'm, I'm fond of that. This is this is Bill's well, you know, fiction you section. Stuff like that. Now, now they can do it by DNA. Yeah. And they pretty well proved it. Bill's now, filing now, system by state. Uh, and all these books are just cave books there. from everybody, yep. everywhere. Yep, from everywhere. Caves of Tennessee. All right. Yep. How many are there? Oh, we'll need one. Well, Tennessee Caves. Uh, it's probably. See, it's uh, in here. Open yeah. it up, see if someone signed it. Yeah, see, that's not the original green hardbound. 
The first hard down copy was free. No. No one signed it. When the, when the state printed this, the first tag, mm -hmm. it never occurred to them that it would sell out. They still had stuff they had printed a hundred years before. So, they didn't save the, the uh, plates for the photographs. Oh no. So when they had to reprint it, they had to take photographs of the photographs. So if you look at my oh, copy, no. the green hardbound one, the, the pictures are pretty sharp and clear. But these are sort of sort of sad by I comparison. I bet Bill could pull one out. Well, hold on. I have in my garage the, the three ring binder notebook of the photos with the crop marks on the back saying That's what great. to do. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Of Bar's photos? Yes. Wonderful. I'll, I'll see if I can bring it Thursday night. Well, let me finish that story because I didn't tell you the whole story. They didn't save the photos. They were Tom Barr's photos. And then he was going to charge them to reuse them. And the state being as cheap as they w wouldn't pay him to use the photos. So they took copies of the copies. Which technically I would think were probably copyrighted by Tom Barr, most of them. It took them four years to reprint his book after he passed away. It doesn't say so here in the wow. uh, uh, caption, but that's Bill Cunnington. To what? And that trough has been stolen. Oh, that's oh man! In West Virginia, so you got this flowstone and encrusted trough under a drip in a West Virginia cave, and now it's it's no longer wow. there. Now here's American Caving Illustrated by Jim Story, mm -hmm. and I met him when I was still in in college. He was quite a character, and uh, he was in Atlanta, and Kirk Holland and Richard Schreiber were sort of like his apprentices. You know, they were okay. they went around with him a lot. And then, it's probably been 20 years ago, I read, I think in the NSS News, where Jim Story and his wife had both died. Yeah. Oh, more books well, over here, too. I haven't oh, it's, seen him in about 10 years. There's lots. There's no, no, I meant Jim Story no end to it. Jim Story, Richard Schreiber, Kirk Holland, and Jim Story had a rope made that was long enough that they went and rigged Stone Mountain and repelled Stone Mountain. It was the first time it had ever been done. What length will that be? Uh, it's over a thousand feet. I just don't remember. No, it was six hundred and sixty feet. Because you probably need to thousand feet side. of rope. Six hundred and sixty feet. Well, I'm talking about Stone Mountain. That's what. Oh, Stone Mountain. No, I don't yes. know. That was you know that was one of the first long rappels that was ever made. Yeah. You got a red one. Really? Let me see that. Looks taller than that, but maybe I'm wrong. Three taller, just from the. You know, yeah. There's a blue yeah. paperback yeah. version of it. That's what I have. Oh, yeah, it was the same. Like this is this is just the hardback version of this one. I think this was just a custom bound copy. There's two of them. Yeah, this is the yeah. same. This is Bill Stevenson's copy. Yeah, this this was not done by the state. This is a commercial, commercially bound copy. Funny story, Barr told us. Uh, he said he'd learned that it was the most popular publication the state had ever done yeah it was and so he called him up to say oh my god it must be a uh, hundred thousand must be out there a whole lot and he said oh we've sold a hundred or two <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was the Just first book the state ever had that sold out Gerald you can go through all these titles and make a what time do you got make your book your know, make your life know, story <laughs> what time is it Gerald well, let's see I don't know here you go Climbing blind, that would be a part of the story. <laughs> Here's the other one, it'd be, oh, holding the mountain, and then this would sum it up. Letters from Tad. Moments of doubt. Big bone in the caves of Bone Cave Mountain. I bet that's a good one. Smyron's Vishlak. Marion Smith. And Smyron came to a TCS meeting and gave them away free. Yeah. yeah. Is that a fiction over there? Uh-uh. Letters from Tag from 66 to 69. It took 40 years for Smyron to finish his uh, you know book on Big Bone. It? Well, I, I published my book on Big Bone Cave, and I, I called Ron Savishlak to talk to him about it. He says, well, you can't publish a book on Big Bone Cave. And I said, well, why not? He says, because John Smyron and I are writing one. And I told him, I said, I didn't even know you all know the cave. So I went ahead and published my book on Big Bone Cave, and it pissed them off so bad. They went ahead and finally finished their book. And published it after 30 years. After 30 years, the, the graphs and maps are wonderful, but the photographs are sort of not very well done. 
unfortunately. It, it's, I don't think these photographs were bad. It's just a printing job. They didn't come out real sharp. They're just sort of gray and washed out. Convention over at uh, Southwest uh, Missouri State College. And that was about 68, 67. And I went to that one and I rented a suite in, in one of the dorms there. Yeah. Somebody else had another bedroom. Then of course there were people sleeping on the floor out there in, in the living room. Is This was a girl's dorm. And, and the woman that ran the girl's store, she had never been around cavers before. And she was just at her wit's end. <laughs> and one day this guy comes walking in the lobby, just dripping with mud. And she goes over to him and goes, You can't come in here with those bloody clothes on. He turned around, walked back outside, took all his clothes off, walked back in, in buck naked, went over and pushed the button for the elevator. She just... <laughs> I think she had her breakdown the next day. Here you go, Larry. This is your next book. All right. <laughs> Jody Bailey. What's it Caves of the Eastern Highland Rim. Oh, I've heard of him. Yeah. yeah. And one morning early, we're all getting up, and she comes in with the campus police. And she comes over, and what does she do? She points at me. She goes, that's him. Hey, that's Larry Matthews. I've got his name right here. He's the one that rented the room. I thought they were going to throw us out. They just sort of wandered around and looked at stuff and left. I think that was the convention where somebody was having a contest. They were trying to see how many steps they could bounce a beer can down in, in the stairwell. And Bill Cuddington's room was right on the end by the stairwell that kept him awake all night. And he was real upset about it. <laughs> And where was that convention? Southwest Missouri State College. What year? I'm thinking about 67. Wow. So what do we have back here? Oh, this is the archives. These are the cave files. So, Tennessee cave files are here, 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 and here. So, these are the files on Tennessee caves oh. that we have at the NSS office. Blowhole, bone cave, calf killer, mm -hmm. saltpeter cave. I love that cave. Nunley Mountain. Uh, uh, Julianne. Julianne. Julianne Ramsey. Julianne Ramsey? Yeah. She's got Nunley Mountain now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was family well, property. NSS. We've got a we've got an MOU. Yeah. We're so carrying... technically she still owns it. Yeah. yeah. But it's set up for when she passes, the ownership yeah. will go to yeah. Yeah. for that part of the property will go so to We're maintaining the insurance tank. on it. If you've never been to it, it's well worth doing. But the pictures look beautiful. Yeah. Is it sixteen miles or so? Yeah, you got to get an entrance, which is nice. So is all the stuff here is what Bill's going through? No. No. That, he doesn't touch the archives. Ah. The archives have already been sorted, organized. It's the library that is, is still being sorted, organized. And every time we get another box of stuff, it comes back here to be sorted and organized. So, so that's would, what he does. Would you welcome volunteers to come down here? Absolutely. <laughs> All day long. <laughs> oh my gosh! There's my salamander. There's my two salamanders I made. Oh. They look like they're healthy. Yeah. They're well preserved. I did those as a giveaway at uh, a Sarah. The <laughs> Marion Smith. That's you. That's me. Right back there in my old black Comfo cap, Cavill Salt Peter Pit. Somebody had piled them all up to burn. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, rather than see them get burned, I only brought out two. Right, Larry, <coughs> sorry. This is a long one, and I think it's this one right here with the two I brought out. And what were they used for? Uh, these were for <coughs> probably scooping dirt into sacks to carry it to the leaching site. What age would those be? Well, 
Cave Hill Sawpit Pit appears to have been the Civil War, <coughs> but it could have been mined in the War of 1812, too. Yeah. A lot of them were mined in, in both wars. Okie dokie. Burned the word while we were up there. Here at the headquarters, they also have a very nice gift shop and bookstore and open to the public every day. So just come on down, get what you need. Mr. Kelly Small with Sprints. Oh, okay. Oh, you have a magnetic bat sticker. I need a few. Two if you have them. Do we have, I don't have one if this new one's out. I guess I need to unwrap it. See anything you need? No. <laughs> Everything else is in the stock room. And do you do mail order on this stuff if people call in? Yes. Or order it online. Yes. These are complete sets of NSS newses. By year. What years do you have? Um, they're still working on them. You know, I've got several boxes of old NSSDs in my attic. Yeah. Uh, You're not going one. I have them going back. Would you all want them? Would there be a market for them? Just, we'd take them. Okay. It's 1960. Well, I mean, and I enjoyed it, actually. It was a pretty good story. And I do a lot of the cavers in it. Yeah, we had so many NSS newses, old NSS newses that we started putting together. Since this is right behind Diamond Caverns as you're going into Mammoth Cave, the oh. James Cave property. And uh, they mapped in there for 60 years, and what did they end up with, like about 18 miles? Something like that. Yeah, you read the about book. a lot for all that work. And then she, she read my... Caves of the of the North Cumberland Plateau, mm -hmm. and she emailed me and she said, "Damn, I should have driven seventy five miles farther south." <laughs> <laughs> How long was she working on the project? Sixty years. Oh, sixty years. And they got like I, seventeen I met, miles. I met them thirty years ago, and they had two long caves on in that park, and they had finished mapping both of them. And thirty years for thirty more years, they've been working on those two caves. They, they were wow. blast, they were blasting up on little cracks and getting another five feet of passage. Yeah, it, it was crazy. Uh, the trip I went in James Cave, we went down to a little inflowing stream, one foot by two, with a rebar to try to break the side of the wall. The it's, side it's of the wall is holding you up. It wow, and it was totally hopeless. <clears throat> Were they trying to connect a mammoth or something? No, they didn't. They never said they were, but I mean, it's awfully close. But I mean, it was Not amazing. All close. the people in that book that I knew that had been caving there, you know, Bill Cuddington and Sarah Corey and uh, Charlie Ford and just on and on, cavers that were well-known cavers mm -hmm. had been in there caving for 60 years. 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 I've never been back here. Have you been in the stock room? Yeah. And we're in the stock room, clear. It all happens, and it is not an NSS it's all stored. It is kept. One hat. Whoa, it's clean. clean no it. one will know me. Brand spanking new. Stickers, patches, pins. Oh my. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, and the patch. I hadn't seen these since I put one on my jacket 30 years ago. Oh, God, I'm so tempted to buy this calendar, but I've got so many calendars. Oh, that's last year's. 
Oh, that is. We're it out. Wouldn't help me, would it? Would it? No. no. We ran out of the 2022 calendars beginning of the year. I'm glad you reminded me what year it was. <laughs> wow. Books of plenty. We have to pack to take to events. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, on the bottom shelf, they got this stuff. Yeah. Well, I had him all in one. I had him all in one area. <laughs> I had him like over here, and then I had to expand and come over here. <laughs> Hey, uh, uh, Jody. Yeah. This is a great book. Prehistoric mummies of the Mammoth Cave area. That's fascinating. At least it was to me. Everything in those boxes are either last one or damaged. Ah. Uh, it's a it's a card game. Oh. Does it involve beer or shots of vodka? I think they could. <laughs> <laughs> I think it probably could. Got a new hat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. On the way out. Mm -hmm. Follow the hat. Do a little shoplifting. I mean, shopping. Yeah, I haven't seen this book, but I'm not really much interested in it. So these days, I you actually, I actually went back to those caves, at least the entrance area, about five years ago. So what do we have here? This is the foyer with more of the Spelian Arts prints. Uh, the floors have just been redone in here. The paint, the walls have just been repainted, and they've got to come back and finish out the trim around the bottom. Um, the restrooms have been newly renovated, and then we've got the big room. We have 11,000 square feet. In this room? In this room. Square the big room has 11,000 square feet, and you can host a seated reception in here for about 1,100 people. Um, that's a stand up reception. A seated reception, you can host about 800 in this room. We had the howdy party in here for the 2014 convention. I've forgotten how big this room is. It's yes. huge. Yes. Uh, it's have huge. they been able to rent this out any for function? Oh yeah. And there's okay. still a kitchen in the mm -hmm. back. Did you know that, Judy? Kitchen's around the corner. Oh, okay. Kitchen's around the corner. What kind of functions happen here? We have quinceaneras, we have... Um, gun clubs? Gun shows, <laughs> gun and knife shows. We have, for a long time, we had the Dixie Derby Girls. Oh. We were their home base for what? roller derby in Huntsville, which was a lot of fun. For about a year, there was nothing. Um, but now it's picked back up. It's probably two, three times a month now. And Christy's got it booked for more and more weekends as time goes forward. Uh, we had the Boy Scouts call yesterday to book their week, we have a Boy Scout Jamboree here every June, and they'll be down in the in the picnic area. Do they camp out here? Mm -mm, they don't camp. It's a day camp. Okay. And they have the classes. They do crafts. They have archery. They do all kinds. There's all kinds of kids running around here. For it's third largest in Huntsville. There's the Civic Center. There's the Davidson Center, out at the Space and Rocket Center, and then there's us. And you allow alcohol here when it's happening? Mm -hmm. And the other places do or don't? They do, uh, but you have to purchase it from them. And with us, you have to bring your own. Stage, sound system. Stage is set up and ready for a band. Uh, the terminal siphons played on that stage during convention. Um, the kitchen is not a commercial kitchen. It's just a warming kitchen. It's not set up to be a commercial kitchen. Just a plain room, but it's been freshly floored and freshly painted. And one of the things that we did not have when we purchased the building was outside access for, for um, anybody catering yes. on That's the site. Yes, difficult, but now you do? Now we do. We paid off the NSS office in July of last year. 
So we own it outright. It is ours. And the money that you collect for the things goes to the SS fund or goes to? Right now it's going to projects. The oh. money that's being collected is going to projects like uh, like just do it. We, we had to redo the floors. The floors had to be done. The, the walls had to be painted. Um, so it took care of that. Um, Maureen's planning a bunkhouse back in the back and it's going to take care of the renovations for that. Uh, we've gotten a couple of pretty substantial donations um, and it will some of the money will be used towards those projects. Uh, Maureen's been working on the, the patio for the buy a brick project. The first round of bricks is laid and the second round of bricks is in the works. They're being engraved now. If you go back down the drive, just before you get to the trailer that's at the gate, mm -hmm. over on the left-hand side of the road, there's a flagpole. Okay. And the bricks are around the flagpole. I remember seeing the flagpole, the flagpole in the picture. Okay. Yeah. I saw what you guys are charging for a brick, and I thought, I'll just bring one down. <laughs> <laughs> they, got, they got some bricks over there. It said National Grotty. You might want to get a picture of it. Okay. Okay. As of last week, they got display cases, 19 display cases for the museum area. And I'm going to convince the National Grotto to fund one for uh, Tom Barr. I have all his stuff in my garage. The displays are ready. Tom Barr's wife called me after he passed. She was cleaning out the house a year or two later. She didn't need the big house he had. And she called me and says, Jody, I've got all the Tom's caving gear here and stuff, and I don't know what to do with it. I said, I'll be right over. And I have his boots, his lanterns, his camera, bug collections, his bug collecting gear, and we'll try to put it on display here. And I'm guessing it would, let's say, Marion or Gerald has left this place, we can put him in the stand-up mummy display. I like it. So let's go home and tell people about this place. Yeah. Harry Bell? Oh, Marco. Oh, Marco and Rich? Yeah, Rich. They went down. That was set up by Cecile. But I led the trip. We went down to San Francisco to see him. I think I went on two of my trips down there. But there's our ride. See ya. Thanks a lot. Jody, enjoyed it? I will. Oh, I know where you are. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Don't be a stranger. Uh, well, that's hard to do for me. <laughs> so this is like the most exciting thing happened this week here for you? Absolutely. <laughs> Hope we didn't distract you from official Not at duties. All. It's always nice to have family show up. All right. So <laughs> take care. Y'all be safe. What do you have, Larry? There's, there should be several here for the National Bridal. Larry E. Matthews, is that bird poop on my name? Uh, your name is Mud, but not Bird. Woo. Where's he at? All right, player. No, what do we have? We got Betty Matthews, Larry Matthews, and National Grotto. Caving since 1953. And you see, Kid Bunny was chairman in 1953, so he Kenneth was the first Bunning. chairman of the Grotto. Oh, there you go. Okay, let me yeah, look at there. And I, I'll bet you there's another National Grotto. Yeah, Larry right, Matthews. Here's, right, here's here. another National Grotto. National over Grotto. Here. Ken Bunning, first chairman and of the right National here Grotto. Is the National Grotto. Another National Grotto. I, I like this way or caver. Spelunkers is too hard to say drunk. 
<laughs> we are cavers. Sweet Luckers is too hard to say drunk. And that's right next to Nashville Grotto. Is there a relationship there? Uh, yes, but I'm not sure if well, we find it. There's another Nashville Grotto. What? Oh, over here? oh, look, here's another Larry Matthews one. We've seen, what's four for you out here? At least. Well, they were trying to raise money to buy this property. Oh, so I there you go again. another one. Oh, my God. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Robert. On rope. Cave gear made for cavers. Ah! Four sides in uh, Peter Street. Oh, we got this one. That's the first one we think. Yeah. yeah. See, there's lots of bricks here that could have your name on them, Jody. It's not too late. I've got a Sharpie in 10 minutes. I think I'll get a few out here for myself. For $100, they'll actually engrave it. So what are they going to do there? Uh, take them out or? Yeah, they'll just take out the blanks and engrave them. I don't know if they can engrave them while they're in the ground or not. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here's another national oh, Look at this. Vermont Cavers Association. Association. I like that. Frank Bogle. <laughs> here's another national product. Right here. Steel. Right there. Another one. Wow. Oh. Oh. Another Larry Matthews. No. Here's another national. Is that the one you just showed me? Uh, no. I think I showed you one farther back there. Yeah. Way. So there's a bunch of those too. Well. Oh, here's one. Do it in a cave? Yeah. All right. Hey, this morning. Oh, where's that? Oh, right here. Yeah. That's nice. Oh. Know this guy? Gordon Smith. Yeah. Opposite of his staff. Oh. Birmingham. Okay. Go down. Number. Have to look that one up. Scott and Julie Fee. Mm Volunteers that made it possible. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Not in my oh, I guess I should. It's not too late. There's plenty of white bricks yeah, left. I'll be back with a sharpie. Stacks of bricks, and there's plenty of room from here over to do your own. 